All right, so this is for folks that reclaim their blasting material. I've got a little blasting pot outside and a little hut I built. But this is for reclaiming blast material. Now, this is not a perfect. This is not a perfect setup. I just put this on there and and I wanted to see if it would work. Uh, I, I knew it would work, but I didn't imagine the results were going to be like this. Now, I cut the bottom out of a bucket and I screwed the screen for uh, that mess. So there's, I actually had it upside down. I was, I was sifting it into a box because I didn't have a bucket to set it on. Get rid of all your trash. There we go. So anyhow, I cut the bottom of the bucket and then I flipped it over and I screwed that screen into it. See? Just tech screws, nothing major. It's really lopsided now. And then I went ahead and I got an old jitterbug sander, electric jitterbug sander. And I screwed it into the side of the bucket. It's loud as all get out. But I'll crank this thing on and I'll show you real quick kind of what's going on. So so you got the screen and you got all that set up, right? And you're trying to, well, I got this, this material that I need to get figured out get get sifted right it's not going anywhere why isn't it going anywhere well it's got nothing more than gravity on its side um i wound up propping this up against here for right now i don't know what i'm gonna do with the setup uh i'll probably build legs so i can just kick a bucket underneath it uh, this is preliminary this is hey will this work <laughs> Gosh. All right, so a little backstory. I'm gonna go to this bucket. It's not, one that's not consistent. You're gonna see those really large dark black grains. This is coal slag. You'll see those really large black grains. Oh, man, I got this bag of this coal slag that won't go through my blasting pot because the orifice is too small. Well, not the sharpest tool in the shed, of course. And you see this? This goes in the, the gun. This goes in the gun, and then you got a gasket, and then you got the tip. Tip. Oh, man, you know, that, that'll work. That'll feed. Well, that's what it has to go through to get to get through to the tip. Itty bitty little. Anyhow, I'm like, hey, we'll see if this stuff that won't go through my pot that was given to me, which is too coarse, I actually use it to slug the fixtures I build for my forming post. I'll show that in a minute while I'm here. Uh, they won't go through the gun. So the gun clogs up and I'm not getting anywhere with my blast cabinet. Like that. Anyhow, as you can see, the big grains don't go through. And this, this works, I, I did, I, I filled up that box twice. And I filled up my blasting cabinet way, way higher than you probably should. So that said, that 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 little exercise took less than a minute to get all that done. I, I started just doing it El Manuel and tap and, and you, you, you tap the bucket and you shake the bucket and it eventually goes down. Um, but I wanted to show there's that was that was that was garbage. That was just something I had from way back when when I was a carpenter. And I tried using it for like an ultrasonic cleaning tank with solvent and new vibe. Nope, junk. It doesn't work. This works, works pretty darn well. I got a bunch of stuff in there I'm going to have to dump out to use for something else to throw away because it won't go through the screen. Most of that you see in there right now is from that bag, hence the backstory. Now, what I was saying, I used that to slug. This is my forming post in all its glory. Now, this is one piece, one one. 
uh, part here. I made this to to form steel, obviously, but it's hollow. It's quarter inch steel tubing, uh, two two by four, I think. Yeah, two by four steel tubing, and it, it drops down in there just like that does. All these do. This one, if you look, it's slugged. It's full of that real coarse blasting sand, and that's what that's what I'm saying. I use it to slug those. It's also this base is slugged. It just uh, it doesn't let it. This will resonate. This will resonate. The steel and your hammer will bounce about, and you're not you're not getting full utilization of this. I need to slug this. Uh, you're not getting full utilization of this, and I just use, I just use sheet metal. 16, 18, who cares? Just use a piece of sheet metal. Tuck it in there so you can finish the edges and make it useful, like I did here. Because this was Schedule 80 pipe when I started, and it's taken some wear because I left it in a location I shouldn't have. But it was polished. It was polished to a matte sheen just from sanding. And this thing works amazing for everything I need it for. So anyhow, uh, garbage I had laying around, a bucket, some screws... And an old third sheet sander, quarter sheet sander would have been fine. But that's that's what I had. That's all I had. So I wanted to show kind of what I had going on. Hopefully this helps someone. Um, it, it doesn't hurt to get out of the box. Uh, another fixture I put together is this little guy. This is modeled off of a door jack that I utilized in a collision shop I worked in. Um... They're cheap. I would just buy the damn thing and have it shipped. But I didn't have $100. I didn't have time to wait that four to seven days for it to get here. That was 30 bucks on sale a couple years ago. And I just used, I used a bunch of scrap that I had around. One thing I did, one fatal mistake I made, when I welded this up, I put a nut there and welded it on out to here. That was dumb. It needs to go on the side. Um... I'll build uprights eventually so I can slide them back and hold the door and then I'll drill holes here and I'll put round uh, round plastic dowels down in the hole so the door can't slip. And that's how these are built. This is built directly off of a purchased item I saw. It's got a little thing up here with uh, round tubing that comes out and grabs the top of the door. But uh, this works. This, I got it as far as I needed it to do what I needed to do. I've hung many doors with that. So again, you just... Um, out of the box, uh, you, you need a shape, you find something that's the shape that you need and you make a fixture for it. You see, blasted it, cleaned it all up nice, made it pretty. I do all kinds of fixtures and stuff, uh, motorcycle fixtures, things like that. So I'm always building my own stuff, tools, uh, fixtures, whatever. Talk to you later.